Hey everybody, uh, finally got this bad boy down to the studio, and if you've not been paying attention to any of the podcasts or social media, you may not even know what this box is. This is probably the biggest unboxing I'm ever going to do on this channel, and if it, I'm out of breath, it's because this thing's like over 100 pounds, or like 100 pounds, at least that's what the UPS label said. You know, I'm not gonna, you know, I, I don't believe necessarily in coincidence, but it is a coincidence that I've been doing a, the past two weeks a bunch of like heavy lifting, getting a bunch of logs out of our backyard from some downed trees, and then now I need that arm strength for some gaming. So uh, anyway, if you don't know what this is, this is actually one of the game toppers by a Berkey, who's a big name in this industry. And they just finished up a Kickstarter. And so you might be saying, well, Chris, if they just finished up the Kickstarter, how do you have one? While the Kickstarter is definitely a more economical way of going things, they're not delivering until November. But Berkey still had some of these for sale on his website. And this year's my 35th birthday. Last year I didn't get to do hardly any gaming at all. The wife wanted me to have it for the summer because she knew I was going to be wanting to do whole bunch of get-togethers. So here we go. I just bought one from the website. Obviously I had to pay a little bit more. So if you're seeing this and you are interested in one of these, you're going to want to check out because I believe they are having late backer uh, stuff open up. So you are going to be able to get this for at least like a hundred bucks cheaper than, than what I ended up paying for. So uh, with that, uh, I need a knife. I need to get a knife. Also, I should probably set up a table for this to go on. Um, I had to move the one that was in here because it was not going to be big. I didn't think it was going to be big enough for it. So we're going to set this bad boy up. So this is the table I'm probably going to use. I'm going to set it up and see how it fits on it. I think I just got this from like Walmart or Target. It's like a six foot by, I want to say that's two and a half, three feet long table. And the Watson is what I'm dealing with here, in case you're curious as to what model and stuff we have. I feel like there needed to be instructions on how to open this. I'm feeling these are the, the awesome game mats they have in there. And then, ah, uh, this feels like hardware. That's the term I'm looking for. Yeah, plenty of foam now. Uh, I'm wondering, should I put this on the table and maybe slide it out? I was just kind of wondering why I was watching. So let's, let's. Open. There's a little thing that says open. As if I hadn't figured out that was the open direction. Someone that didn't know any better probably thought I was buying a TV. <laughs> Ash was like, you're gonna take this to somebody else's house? At the time I was like, yeah. Now I'm wondering, I don't know. I think I need a bigger room. That wasn't so hard. Now what? <sighs> Here we are. Uh, well, that's right, we said hardware was probably in that box. Ta-da! Half of one, half a Watson. So is this the Watt? Or is this the sun? Ha ha. I'm out of breath. Give me a break. Ah, oh, there's another box. 
I don't even know what this is. Maybe the cup holders and stuff I got? We'll just slide this aside for the moment. Get the table back in place. Okay. I can definitely tell this table's gonna be too long for this. this. Most people, that probably wouldn't bother them. Me, it's gonna annoy the crap out of me. So I might have to get a different table later. Probably should get you closer for this one. So, this looks like a little slidey thingy down here that's supposed to mate these together. It's technically not mated together yet. I'm gonna need to tape a cloth to it probably. Oh no, this is a game mat. Oh, so maybe there's no extra hardware? I think that's what it said. So the instructions made it seem like there's an extra piece that needed to go in, but it's already on here. It's this little rail that's gonna go together. Only problem is, it feels like this thing's not... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go undo the other side and that'll give it some rigidity before I lock it down. Then I'll just twist these screws, clamp this sucker down. There we go. So for all, for all intents and purposes, this sucker's ready to go. But it's a little dusty from the trip, so I'm gonna need to clean it up. I probably should have asked how I'm supposed to clean this, but because I don't wanna mess up the aluminum, I'm just wiping it off with paper towel for now, just to catch all the box dust and dirt from the packaging. I probably might take the small vacuum I have to finish clearing it out. I don't have the brush attachment on my on, on this vacuum here, so I was trying to be gentle not to mark it up, but normally this crease here would drive the, the bonkers out of me. But luckily, Berkey has a fix for that. And the fix for that is actually what's in this box. And that is, these tables are not designed to be used like this. They're designed to go with those mats I was talking about. Now, I did not expect the mat to come with this nice case but it's very much appreciated. In fact, it may get used for like the Arkham Horror one that I take all, along to, all the time. Ooh, it's even got a little window so you can see what, ooh, there we go. Hold this up here. So it's got the, uh, the nice stitching, stitched ends, so. Actually, let's put it that way. And there we go. Instant game table. One thing I will say off the bat is watch out when you're setting this thing up because, you know, you might be thinking, oh, how's that? That thing is just a topper. It, it can move around really easily. No, it can't. Like I'm moving the table. I'm not moving the topper when I shake it like this. So uh, if I were to, like if I got this off on one side or the other, I would probably have to take the whole thing off and maybe get somebody else's help to put it back on with one person. Or just, if you're doing it by yourself, just be careful when you put the first half on, make sure you've lined that up and then put the other half on and then made it up. Don't try and mate it and then adjust it on your table. Now for most people, if you've got the table that's about the size of the game topper, this might not be an issue. But as you can see, 
this one sticks out a little bit on both sides. And I think personally, I'd rather have a smaller table than one that sticks out. So that may have to be something I look into for the future. But that has nothing to do with the table topper itself, or the game topper itself. That's just me being able to use it. So that was the first, the first mat, but you may have noticed there was a second map that I pulled out of the bag. I decided, you know, just to be fancy, to get a second map, just to have some options. So I believe this is the Vikings map. And I wanna say it was drawn by Ryan Lockett, but I could be wrong on that fact. I was looking at some of the other ones, like maybe the space, but I actually thought, with all the games that we usually play together, like Catan and Raiders of the North Sea, that this would be more thematically appropriate. And I kind of agree now. And see, technically, I didn't even have to take the other one up. I'm still got that nice indention and laid it out. And now it's even a little firmer. So I don't know why I said that. I'm just kind of commenting on everything. All right, one last piece before we actually get to playing on here. Don't know if I'll actually play something on here, or I don't know when I'm gonna get to play something on here. I might throw something solo on here and play, but we'll see. But, and by one more piece, it should actually be four pieces. And I put the knife away. Accessories. Anybody who knows me knows I love accessories. So here we go. There's a rail that goes all the way around this here. And take this, which you can use for like, say if I had uh, my, my board for Arkham Horror, the card game, um, that had like my, kept my investigator on it if I wanted it out, um, or maybe like some components here uh, or I can take this little acrylic piece off and it's a cup holder. And the best part is, is because that rail goes along everywhere, it just sticks in and I can slide it all the way, all the way around. So I have four of these. So now four of us at least will be pretty legit. And, uh, I can just slide it right off. Uh, this room is kind of small for... I, I don't think I'm going to leave these up all the time, especially because I have cats, and if they jump up here, they may try and, like, jump on these, and I don't want to, like, this is some fine quality stuff, and, you know, I there could be, it could withstand my cats, but I don't want to press my luck on that too much, so I have a bin over there that I'll probably just keep these in, except for maybe I'll keep one out for if I'm playing games solo, but that's not the only accessory type feature built into it. And this is something that I, I have not really seen used a lot because these things are used a lot at conventions and so many opportunities for people to use this next feature and then they don't. And if you see, I managed to pull out some Pokemon cards. So, uh, you know, don't come hit me up for all them Pokemon cards because I know they'd be going crazy right now. But there's an indention in the rail. And so you could take a hand of cards and lay them out like that. That's pretty nifty. This would be a bad hand in Pokemon because I have like no Pokemon out to play. Just FYI, because it's all energy because that's what's in that bin. So there you go. Now I just need to play a game on it. So. Thanks Berkey for making an awesome product and having still having some in stock so I could have one this summer instead of waiting till November. But you could still get one. I, like I said, I believe they are still taking pre-orders for their late pledging. The Kickstarter has ended, but I, you might still be able to get the Kickstarter pricing and just go on uh, GameToppersLLC.com. Even if that stuff's closed, usually, the point of the Kickstarters is to raise enough funds to mass produce these. So even if 
the late backing is, is over, you still might be able to get yourself some of these fine game toppers. Or if you've got a game topper and you want the accessories, those, those are on the website along with the mats. You may already have a game table of your own, but you really like these mats. They're on the website. Go check it out. Uh, thanks for watching. And may all your hits be crits.